Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you're dealing with a lot of problems at the moment. You've got, uh, and you're feeling very, very trapped by it. You've got that Eight of Spades over there, which is like the Eight of um, Swords. So, uh, you know, a lot of obstacles, a lot of problems, a lot of issues that you're dealing with. Uh, right now. Now it might involve, uh, you know, a marriage. There might be some issues involving your relationship as well because you've got the ring over there. This is about marriage or contracts. Uh, it could e even be something on the work front, you know, something that you have a contract with and you're pretty depressed about it. Uh, you've got that queen of um, hearts there, feeling a bit miserable about what's going on there, feeling very, very emotional. Now, the solution is going to come to you there. Um, you've got that key coming in there, um, and, uh, you know, things will sort themselves out. Um, and, you know, uh, you will establish your security or establish yourself all over again. So there is some information that is going to be coming to light that's going to give you the answers uh, to sort this particular problem out. So it looks like you've laid... Uh, some situation to rest. There might have been a, a, a divorce that you went through. You've got the coffin card over here and that five of um, spades, which is about, you know, uh, like the five of swords, it's about uh, legal endings uh, to a particular situation and you've moved on from it. And you're at a crossroads in your life, so you want to start something brand new here or you have started something brand new here um, and, you know, maybe a new project or even a new relationship and, uh, you know, you're trying to make a decision there. Now, they're, you know, they're still, you're still very, very, um, you know, unhappy because whatever you want to start, it looks like there are things standing in your way. Now, whatever issues you're having, even if it's with finance, it looks like that particular uh, problem will get sorted out. It, you know, whatever uh, issues you're dealing with with the fire, things tend to die off. So if you're having problems, it looks like you'll be able to sort those out. There's also the end of that cycle of going through, maybe if you're going through any legal problems with the Ten of uh, Spades, it's the end of that particular situation. You might need to just cut your losses and move. With the whip and uh, the uh, broom over there, you know, these problems have been going on and on and you've been going round and round in circles as well. Uh, and, you know, they've been, you know, just going on for a long time. But it looks like that particular um, cycle is now coming to an end. Uh, maybe you're walking away from it um, in order for you to end that particular situation. So whatever drama you've been going on or going through, looks like it is now reaching its conclusion. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be drawing some cards from the um, Tarot of Fate. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the star card. So there's a need for you to uh, think positively. Um, there is some kind of guidance coming in for you as well. And also there's a need for you to find a new direction in life. Find something else to do, really, and focus your attention on that. With the star card, it's hope and, uh, you know, being positive and thinking outside the box and um, maybe, you know, even communicating with people that are outside of your arena, um, but getting some new, fresh insight. But there's a lot of guidance, there's a lot of uh, direction coming in for you, and there's a lot of spiritual help coming in as well with that star card. Now, whatever happened, you've got the tower card over here, so it's caused like almost like a disability for you. It might have involved three people over there. You've got that three of cauldrons there with that um, tower crossing the tower. Uh, so maybe something that happened that you were never quite aware of that was going to happen, unexpected, and it's caused a big upheaval in your life. Uh, like I said, almost a disability. So it could all, you know, some really devastating news or something really devastating happening uh, where you were really, you know, it caused you to be really stuck and uh, not having the ability to even fight back in that particular situation. In the past, you've got the emperor over there, so you have been dealing with some kind of legal issue that has been going on. And it looks like there's been, you know, them, there's been a need for you to uh, sort out your finances, get organized as well. Somebody, uh, you could also have been dealing with somebody that was very much a bully 
or uh, something that was very dominating as well with that emperor card there. Now, it looks like help has been coming in for you here, a uh, helping hand coming in. There could have been some financial assistance that you needed, but also some advice, uh, you know, to get you through this particular situation. So whatever happened has been quite devastating, but it looks like there's support that is there. You have been feeling very, very overwhelmed in this particular situation. You can see this man is trying to fight this or oh, this fairy is trying to fight this uh, wasp. The wasp has got, you know, a poisonous sting, uh, and, you know, it can kill you. So the person that you're fighting with, you're standing up for yourself, uh, you know, uh, but you are feeling a bit overwhelmed, feeling as though, you know, they've gotten the upper hand in that particular situation. And it's affecting your, you know, you, it's depressing you a little bit because you've got the moon card coming in after that. So, you know, you are looking at that past situation. You're very confused. You don't really know what to do. You might be ha not sleeping well at night as well with that particular moon card. So, uh, you know, also expecting the worst to happen. With this moon card, there's also things going on uh, behind the scenes that you may not even be aware, aware of as well because things are happening in the dark. So, uh, you know, things going on. Uh, but you're not quite aware of it. So you've got that king of uh, spears over there. So, um, you know, this is a, a need for you to take control of that situation and, uh, you know, just go ahead and say whatever you need to say. And this is also, uh, you know, with this, sorry, it's the knight of spears. So uh, this is about even moving on from that situation. You might need to relocate to get away from whatever's going on. Uh, maybe you don't, you don't have enough support from the people around you as well. So, uh, you know, you need to take action. This is the card of being... Uh, being active and uh, taking control and making decisions pretty quickly as well. You are going through that period of heartbreak. Uh, there was some deception and there may have been some kind of legal issue that you were dealing with. Um, and you do need to cut ties with this. Uh, maybe it's with the person that you're still feeling attached to. Or it could be three other people that you're dealing with as well. So there is that feeling about being let down and being very disappointed and, uh, you know, a lot of conflict that you have been facing. And this is probably why you're feeling very depressed, very isolated, very alone, and very in the dark about things as well. So what you want is victory over the situation. You want to sort it out and move on with that ace of um, spears. So going into the future and the final outcome, it looks like things are going to be ending as far as that situation. So this looks like it was a, uh, you know, it could have been a divorce or separation from somebody, um, you know, and it might have involved children as well. Uh, but it looks like, you know, that cycle is not coming to an end. You are uh, moving on. This could be even buying a new home and actually relocating, especially since you've got that nine of uh, spears over there, which is the uh, knight of rods. And this is, you know, talking about relocating, moving on to do a job somewhere else. And the Ten of Cauldrons is about ending, uh, you know, old situations and even moving on and buying a new place, a new, a new home, uh, you know, changing where you live. There is that offer coming in for you there. So this could be an emotional offer, emotional support, but this could also be a new job offer coming in for you that's going to bring you a lot of money. There's a big uh, bag of coins there and this king making that offer so this is uh, an, uh, you know an offer coming in maybe on the work front that is going to allow you to cut ties with that past and move on to something better and you are going to be working very very hard so there is something that's coming in to rescue you from the situation um, you know it looks like you may have had a separation or divorce and you're now ready to move on uh, this could be you have you know could have even been you know you're having problems on the work front problems with that work, problems with that job, and you're now getting a new offer. You may relocate for that new offer, and it looks like with that eight of stones or the eight of pentacles, you're working very hard, very focused on that work, being very specialized at it and learning a lot on that job. So you're going to be very busy. This new offer brings in a lot of money, and it is something well worth considering and accepting, really, to get you out unstuck from this particular position. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. So the first card is the Nine of Fire, which says don't give up. Uh, protect that which you have uh, created and have the courage and believe in yourself. So you do need to hang in there. Uh, you know, defend yourself uh, and um, 
know that the situation is going to be changing. You've, you've made a lot of sacrifices, you've been working really hard, and you've been going through a lot of problems, and this might just be the last bit uh, that you have to go through in order for you to get yourself free from the situation. You've got the High Priestess over here, which says, listen to your intuition, have patience, and consider carefully what you want before acting. So make sure you're, you know, doing your research. The High Priestess talks about learning and maybe in uh, further study as well that could be coming in for you. But it also says, you know, uh, be patient. Things are going to work out for you. It's a card about divine timing, so that it will come into your arena, but you just need to hang in there and not give up hope. Stand up for yourself. And with the Nine of Earth, this is the money card, and so enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, and successfully self-employed. So uh, finances are about to improve for you. Uh, you're getting your financial independence, and maybe this new job that is going to be presented to you is going to bring in the money as well and make you very financially independent uh, so that you can take care of yourself and, and look after yourself on a financial uh, point of view. So, uh, And also a lot of recognition coming in with that Nine of Earth there. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.